Well, hi there. This is the McDonald's rant that you did or did not want. So, are you ready? You might need to take a seat for this. You might need some popcorn or some soda or some ASMR. I don't know. Something because this is going to be a lot. So, here we go. So tonight was one of those nights that I just wasn't feeling like cooking. You know, we all have those days. And I was like, well, maybe we could go to Shake and Shack or McDonald's. Uh, Donovan loves hamburgers usually when we go somewhere. And ever since living here in Mississippi, I've eaten more hamburgers than I ever have in my entire life. And it was sounding pretty good to me too. So he wonderfully and delightfully took us to McDonald's. So Donovan and I both got a burger, chicken nuggets, a drink, french fries, and I got an M&M &M McFlurry. I shared a little bit with Maverick too, and don't worry, I tried to like make sure he didn't get as much of the dye off those M&Ms. You know, growing up, my mom made sure that we washed off our M&Ms because the dye was so unhealthy and bad for us. Um, and the, the burger, mine, I, I just got like a, I think it was like a cheeseburger? I think like the cheapest, littlest one or whatever. It, it reminded me of my childhood, but also, like, it just wasn't that great. I don't know if it was the cheese. It tasted kind of soapy. I don't know what it is with foods. In the past few months, it tastes a little soapy. I Don't ask me. I don't even know. Um, maybe we're, our economy is so bad, they're substituting soap for, I don't know what, because it's cheaper. Um, but yeah, the only thing worth getting at McDonald's is chicken nuggets, french fries, soda, and um, their ice cream. Growing up, my only recollection of McDonald's was when we would drive by it from time to time because we were always in the big city for a lot of things. Uh, being out in the country, you know, when you would go into the city, you'd make it worth your time pretty much. And I remember from this really expensive and supposedly very family friendly dentist that butchered our teeth every time. I'm sorry. Oh my gosh. Like. <sighs> just know i've said this before but whenever someone like says that they are something they're usually not when it comes to any business um but we would get coupons i remember we would get a runza coupon and a mcdonald's coupon i think it was a free ice cream cone from runza i never did like runzas by the way not much anyway um and then it was just like a ch like i don't know i'm 33 years old so back when i was a little girl um i think their hamburgers have stayed the same but i think it's just a basic cheap cheap hamburger um, so we would always go through the drive through because there were so many of us kids and we just never had the time and the germs and that kind of a thing. And so we never even went into McDonald's. I never remember going into one my whole upbringing. And I do remember seeing like the playhouse kind of things, you know, from outside or when we're going through the drive through like it looked like so much fun kind of a thing. Um, but that's all I remember. And on the outside, it was so fun and colorful. It looked like this, red and yellow. And it had Ronald McDonald, right? Um, the clown that was not creepy and uh, horrifying and all of the awful things that clowns are now. Like he was wholesome and funny and silly back then. And McDonald's um, had all these, yes, playground things, you know, for the kids. And it, like, I mean, the cups were even more colorful back then. Um, but it was just so vibrant and fun. And it just gave the best, like, sunshiny, positive vibes. Like, McDonald's was it back in my day. And now, what McDonald's has turned into... Tonight, can I just say, is the worst looking restaurant experience I have ever been to in the entirety of my life. And I am not joking. I am not kidding. It was so depressing. I, I kept lamenting over it to my husband. And I was like, like, I'm sorry. I'm not trying to like kill the mood or anything. But like, it was... It, like it was so bad let me show you a picture i will have all the photos up over on my instagram linked here in my bio but what is this what is this like i didn't even feel like i was in my own country let alone mcdonald's what, what, like, I, i'm still i'm still distraught and 
depressed. Just no, no. Thankfully, there is and there are silver linings to every depressing, stormy, gray cloud. And I have to say that is there is still some color to their their uh their cupware and to their packaging you know um the the drinking fountains i guess not drinking fountains the, the soda machines um are still self-serve i hear they're going to be going away in um is it 2033 or something okay um and then one of the workers there um she was so sweet she was so kind and wonderful and she asked maverick if he wanted a little gift if he wanted a bear um because he was wearing like a teddy bear on his uh onesie you know with his outfit with his pants and uh, we were like yes that would be lovely so she gave him this isn't he i think it's a he isn't he so cute maybe we'll call him peter rabbit but like for free just as a gift like that was just so so amazing of her like oh my heart like oh um and that's another thing she said that um they no longer have gender specific toys they did away with those and i don't know how long ago it's now gender neutral so when you know their customers ask for a boy toy or a girl toy for the happy meal she's like no they no longer have them and i was like that is so sad i'm like things just aren't the way they used to be out in society um and i i think there was something else um yes my local mcdonald's <laughs> you already know it their ice cream machine is never, ever working. And the ketchup dispenser is always empty. Oh, and another thing, but this isn't just true of McDonald's, but all fast food restaurants in general, they're always dirty. The tables are always dirty and sticky and greasy and ugh. But thankfully she was sweeping the floor a little bit. That is something my mom, I feel like the few times that we did go into a fast food restaurant was like for a happy dinner for um, birthday meals as someone in my one of my siblings came up with that name it was really cute you know because we just couldn't afford to do anything you know more than that which is I understand I get it it's okay I'm thankful that we had that you know um Amigos was my go-to place for yeah a birthday meal sometimes but um so my mom back then was like hey, do you mind wait to waiting to sleep around our tables you know just because we're eating and stuff and I think they would I don't know if they you know mind it or not but they would so she was sweeping a little bit you know and cleaning the tables and I was like oh my gosh someone's actually cleaning the tables so <laughs> that, that was nice it just feels like so much of society has changed dramatically in this depressive, non-anything specific. Everything, we're all turning into these NPC characters, nothingness, no titles, no no colors, no themes, no classes, no... Um, no no nothing like you you can't like you just want us all to become gray rocks and just get into this like communistic socialistic marxist ideology um grouping thing i know things are gonna get really bad for the end of the times when jesus is going to return before he creates the new heavens and new earth and you know that's in the book of revelations in the bible but um yeah so anyway it was just but nonetheless i'm grateful we had a great time out tonight you know my husband and son and i but mcdonald's what the heck i i, I it's gonna take i don't know if i'm ever gonna go back at least not to this location <sighs> somebody help us somebody help us so anyway, okay, thank you so much for listening to my TED Talk, McDonald's Talk. Okay, too low, bye!